Good morning. Welcome to this video in support of Sacred People, Sacred Earth, a global day of action calling for climate justice, where we show up as people of faith, demanding a better world for all of us together. This event is sponsored by Green Faith, and this video is brought to you by the First Presbyterian Church of Rumson and by Water Spirit, a nonprofit center for spiritual ecology sponsored by the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace. To learn more about this event, which is happening all across the globe, you can look for the hashtag Sacred People, Sacred Earth. By following that hashtag, you can also learn about the 10 demands put out by Green Faith and supporting groups today. These 10 demands for climate justice include one, 100% renewable energy for all. Two, finance aligned with compassionate values. Three, jobs and health care for all. Four, respect for indigenous rights. Five, welcome for climate migrants. Six, net zero emissions by 2030. Seven, end to the planet's desecration. Eight, elimination of immoral finance. Nine, just contributions from wealthy countries. And 10, bold faith community leadership. First Presbyterian Church of Rumson and Water Spirit are bringing you this video to bring you both stories of actions that have happened and are happening here in our home state of New Jersey, as well as beautiful earth-centered prayers to connect us with our home that we love so deeply. The First Presbyterian Church of Rumson, where Water Spirit is also located, occupies Leni Lenape land, which is unceded, upon the peninsula that they named Naramsun. We honor the Leni Lenape people's past and present and promise our commitment to establish right relationship with these lands and waters. If you would like to learn more about the Native American groups in your area, please visit native-land.ca to learn whose land you're occupying and how you might be able to help. Clean Water Action in New Jersey has been actively engaged working on solutions to the climate crisis. After 12 years of work, the governor signed the first in the nation environmental justice cumulative impacts bill. The law allows the state to deny new air permits or condition existing ones in neighborhoods that are predominantly people of color, low income, or not English proficient, and as a result, are most often exposed to pollution and suffer the effects on their health. Now the work is to deny permits that companies are trying to push through before the law takes effect. The governor also signed the most comprehensive single-use polyfoam container, plastics, and paper bag ban in the nation. And straws will only be available on request. Clean Water was the first large environmental group to announce no to the Transportation and Climate Initiative in alignment with our environmental justice partners. This is a funding mechanism with no guarantee that it will actually achieve real emission reductions in environmental justice communities. Our work continues to find solutions to the climate crisis that are just and compassionate. We all need clean water, clean air, clean land, clean food in order to live. These are basic human rights. What if that right to clean air and clean water and clean environments were protected in the constitution of every state? There is a campaign underway in New Jersey right now to pass SCR 80, which would allow us, residents of New Jersey, to vote on this constitutional amendment to give the right to clean air and clean water the same protections as our right to free speech. This New Jersey Green Amendment joins together with efforts to pass a Green Amendment in 11 other states in this country 
joining two states where this amendment has already passed, Pennsylvania and Montana. You can learn more about the New Jersey Green Amendment and how to get involved in your local community by following the links in the description below. You can also access www.waterspirit.org to learn how to get involved with our rapid response team in order to bring awareness of the Green Amendment to your communities and find out how you can support this. Good news for New Jersey. New Jersey has become a world leader in reducing single-use wastes, including harmful plastics. Governor Murphy signed a historic bill which goes into effect in the spring of 2022. It bans single-use plastic carryout bags and polystyrene foam food service products. Plastic straws will only be given on demand, and New Jersey will be phasing out paper bags as well. This is good news for marine life and birds. These animals mistake plastic for food. Their bellies getting full of plastic leaves no room for food. This is fatal for them. Also, fish eat the plastics that break down into tiny bead-sized pieces. The plastic chemicals absorb in their bodies. Fish and wildlife become intoxicated with many of the chemicals found in the plastics. Consequently, the toxins get into the food chain, threatening human health as well. Plastic consumption by fish is linked to endocrine system diseases, cancer, immune system disorders, as well as birth defects. This is a great advancement and we are proud New Jersey is a leader for the good of our waters, animals, humans, and the planet. In addition to New Jersey action, there is also great news in New York City. In New York City, a new climate solutions center called The Plant has been newly built in Yonkers. It's reusing an old coal power plant. Tenzin Selden's vision was to find a home and a base for climate incubators, think tanks, and nonprofits. She feels the climate movement in North America hasn't been able to physically ground, according to Selden, and she is leading and anchoring climate innovation in a different way. One of her goals is solutions with the interest of climate and refugees. Good news is all around us. We can celebrate those who are bringing healing to our planet. A reading from the Declaration of Water, 2003. As children of water, we raise our voices in solidarity to speak for all waters. Water, the breath of all life. Water, the sustainer of all life. Water, the voice of our ancestors. Water, pristine and powerful. Today, we join hands determined to honor, trust, and follow the ancient wisdom of our ancestors, whose teachings and messages continue to live through us. The message is clear. Honor and respect water as a sacred and life-giving gift from the creator of all life. Water the first living spirit on earth. All living beings come from water. All is sustained by water. All will return to water to begin life anew. We are of water, and the water is of us. When water is threatened, all living things are threatened. What we do to water, we do to ourselves. All powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live as brothers and sisters harming no one. O oh God of the poor, 
Help us to rescue the abandoned and the forgotten of this earth so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives that we protect the world and not prey on it. That we sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who live only for gain at the expense of the poor and earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. This is a prayer from Pope Francis. We give thanks for God's creation and everything in it. May we love and care for our communities and neighbors near and far. May we remember God's gift of water now and always. May we recognize the holiness in all the earth's water and strive for its care and protection. And so may we forever exalt God and creation. Go in peace enjoy God's gift of water, and work to preserve this sacred resource for the future.